The project command allows you to take edges or sketches and then project them or cast their shadow onto geometry in your model, including solid surfaces, non-solid surfaces, and datum planes. Let's take a look at how to do that. I'm going to click on the project command from the ribbon. Let's go to the references tab. First, we have a drop down list that allows you to choose whether you want to project chains or edges or a sketch or a cosmetic sketch. Let's choose to project a sketch and I will select this sketch in the graphics area. Next, the surfaces collector automatically becomes active. You can select one or more surfaces that you want to project on. And the last thing that we need to specify in order to create the feature is the direction reference. You can click in here to activate the collector or you can hold down the right mouse button and then choose select direction reference. And I'm going to choose the same datum plane that was used to create the sketch. And that way, when we hit the check mark, you can see the projection of the sketch on the surface. Let's select the datum plane and I'm going to choose the view normal command from the mini toolbar. And you can see that those two curves end up overlapping on each other. So that's good. Now I'm going to take the sketch and I'm going to project it in a different way. Before I do that, I'm going to locate a datum plane in my model and make it visible. And this other datum plane that I'm making visible is located at a bit of an angle compared to the plane for the sketch. So once again, I will click on the project command. And then from the references tab, I'm not going to project edges. I'm going to project a sketch again. Let's select the sketch and the surfaces collector automatically activates. Let's select the surface and I will right click and hold to activate my direction reference collector and select the new datum plane that I made visible. And here you can see now we're going to get a different result because we're projecting in a different direction. And it's sort of like uh, the sun casts a different shadow depending on the time of day. That's the effect of the direction reference. Let's hit the check mark for that one. And for the last one, well, let me start off by hiding this datum plane again. Let's choose the project command and I will use the references tab to change to projecting a sketch again. I'll select the sketch and I'll select the same surface that I'm projecting on. But this time, instead of using a direction reference, we can use this drop down list to change to projecting normal to the surface itself, or you could hold down the right mouse button and in the pop up menu, choose normal to surface. And this time you'll notice that we are getting quite a different result generated. So there you can see some of the different ones. Now let me talk about some of my main uses for using the project command. And I'm going to hide a few of these different ones and also hide this datum plane. My two main uses for the uh, project command are copy and paste and also creating boundary blends. So for example, let me select this surface. Then I will choose to copy it. And then when I perform the paste operation from the options tab, you have the option to copy inside a boundary. And I might end up selecting using the control key, the different parts of that projected curve in order to copy just the portion of the surface inside of that boundary. Let me hit the check mark. And there we have another surface copied inside of here. And another use that I find, like I mentioned, is boundary blends. And the advantage of using projected curves for creating boundary blends is because you can control your different end conditions. Let me show you what I mean by that. I'm going to click on the boundary blend command and let's select. I'm going to query select to this curve. And for the other curve in the first direction, I'm going to hold down the control key and then query select to the curve of the sketch. And right now we would end up just getting a surface from one curve to the other, but I can right click over the boundary condition and choose that I want to be tangent. And I can also choose that I want it to be curvature continuous. And so that way it is going smoothly into uh, that geometry. And let's select the to display the drag handles. 
And I'm just going to drag it out in the other direction. I wanted it going the other way. Let's continue on and add a few more curves in here. I'm going to hold down the control key and then query select to this edge as well. Now it gets really funky. Let's hold down the control key and select the other edge over there. And again, let me adjust the direction that it is going. And instead of using uh, curvature continuity, I could change it back to tangent. Same thing over here. Again, since I'm using those different edges, I can choose the boundary conditions. And that way I could make this other geometry that flows smoothly into the original surface. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.